When I started this YouTube journey a few years ago, I said that my plan was to become a millionaire by the age of 30. Well, today is my birthday and I'm not a millionaire yet. And not even close to a millionaire. So let's see what went wrong. I had this plan that I was going to invest in the stock market. And I can already tell you, if your plan is to become rich by the stock market alone, it's not going to work. I made over 30% returns investing in the stock market. It is hard for anyone to do better than that. So I cannot say that I wish I made 35% or 40%. No, from the amount of information I had, this is the return I made. I'm happy with 30%. And you may see that most of the returns came in 2021 with GameStop. I invested in the company in September 2019. I saw the short squeeze probably before most people in the world before Reddit, and I was right on this. It was a deep value opportunity. But I made the mistake of seeking other such deep value cigar butt investments. Unfortunately, I did not find any good one in the last three years. And that's why my performance has not been that good in the last three years. Nevertheless, these are lessons you're going to learn. So that's why I tell you my 32% returns over the last eight years, 32% a year, I'm very happy with it. I have no regrets with that. But even if I made 50%, I would not be a millionaire. And you should not expect that in just seven, eight years, you will become a millionaire investing in the stock market. You can be in 40 years, in 50 years. And this is what most people should aim for. But how do you become a millionaire? The easiest way is of course to study well to have a really good job that pays very well there's another way to start a business and if it is successful then probably you're going to be a millionaire but all of these takes time and the fact that i was aiming to do that in seven or eight years i was wrong it's good to have goals financial goals it's good to see somewhere that you want to seek but you need to be more realistic on it and I wasn't that realistic. I was over optimist, too confident on my ability to not just make returns in the stock market, but also to increase my AUM on eToro because this is my main source of income to expand on YouTube, the Super Investors Club. But none of these have been growing that fast. And I know why. Now, after I made all these mistakes, I can tell you why why I'm not a millionaire yet. It's because I was trying to do things that I was wasting a lot of time on. Let's take the YouTube channel itself as an example. I have been making videos, trying to edit them. I hate video editing and I will record a video for 20 minutes and edit it to have a 10 minute video, but it will take me four or five hours to edit that video. And I'm going to get maybe 100 views, 200 views. It's not really worth it. You may say I can delegate it. Oh, it's going to cost me too much money. It's not worth it even to delegate. That's his point. So I have to edit it myself. But if you think about it, it's a waste of time. I'm trying to make a video that 200 people are going to watch. The waste of time is on the editing. But what matters the most is the content. And sometimes I wasn't really seeking the best content that I can put. And to get the best content out, I need to make better research. And this is what I enjoy doing. So why not do more research, which I'm doing right now, looking for better companies. This will also improve my performance in the stock market and actually maybe make one or two videos a week, but not focus so much on the editing, but more on the content, something that I'm enjoying. Last week, I was with some friends and I was talking about booking holdings, how this liability that they have on their balance sheet is actually working as a sort of float. Then it took me about maybe one hour to write an article about it and post it on the Super Investors Club. I really enjoyed that, that conversation I had with those friends. The conversation was maybe around five minutes on the company. And then we talk about investing for longer and then writing one hour on the Super Investors Club for this one company booking holdings. And I would love to make a video about this. I would love to talk about this. I would love to talk about why I'm buying FDJ, why it's the largest position in my portfolio. I was on a podcast 
two weeks ago and I'm also happy to talk about FTJ, why it is the largest position in my portfolio. These are things that I will enjoy talking about and this is the purpose of this YouTube channel, to talk about these things and make other people consider these as investments or better, just learn something from my investments or maybe even have alternative viewpoints from my perspective. I made that video about PayPal and many of you disagreed with me, which I enjoy. I want to have this type of conversation here on YouTube, but it should not take four or five hours to edit such a video. So that's why now I want to focus on the content. Even if I make two videos a week, one video a week, three videos, it doesn't really matter. I will aim for one. If the video is two minutes, three minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, I don't care. I don't care about the algorithm anymore. It's about the content. I hope that by making better content, the channel is going to work. It's breaking even right now. Because the purpose of the channel, if I'm looking at it from a business point of view, is to bring people to eToro, to copy my investments, to bring people to the Super Investors Club, where they will subscribe, and then they are going to read in more details. But even if I reach, let's say 1,000 people on a video, not everyone is going to sign on eToro. Not everyone is going to pay for the Super Investors Club. But there are some people who are going to do it. Even if I have only one or two people a month, I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter. If let's say now I do something that I can get 10 people every month, but it is affecting my performance, then what's the use? There is no positive use of that. I'm bringing people there, but not making them money. And the only way for you to make money in the stock market is to look for more companies to do more research. And this is what I enjoy doing. So why waste my time doing something I don't enjoy just to try to make money, which I did not even make. So maybe now focusing on what I enjoy is going to work. If it doesn't work, then okay, I go broke. We'll see. Life is fun. Let's have fun. We don't know. If we already knew what would happen, we'd all get rich quick. All the fun goes away. This is what makes life interesting. When you don't know what to expect tomorrow, something bad, very bad may happen. And then you overcome it. After five years, when you think back on what happened to you, you just think, okay, that was me. I survived all of this. Sometimes when I think when I was in Russia, I was living on one meal a day and uh, it was a very bad condition. At the time, I was thinking about it. I was focusing on my studies, enjoying myself with physics back then. I was in this small hostel room with two other people. The mattresses was two, three inches thick. There were cockroaches, there were all these bed bugs. It was a disaster. It was so dirty. And living on one meal a day. But now when I think about it, I'm very proud of myself to have overcome all of this. At the time, I wasn't thinking about it. So just keep going. This is what life is about. It's not about those goals that those YouTubers will tell you, okay, you do this, take this course, you buy this course, you're going to be a millionaire. This is not how life works. You need to put out the work. It worked for some people. It, it is survivorship bias. You did not see the ones that failed. The ones that failed did not make videos. You don't see people making videos why I did not make a million dollars in eight years. So that's why I'm making this video today because I did not make it. It's okay. It doesn't matter. I made some mistakes, some very bad mistakes. I learned from them. I will try not to make them again, but we keep going and hopefully one day I can make the million dollar, the billion dollar. For me, it's not about the money. It's about more having an impact and influence, trying to change the world for the better. But even if I don't make it, it doesn't matter because the things that really make me happy is to read, to learn many things, to travel. And you're watching this video right now. I'm in a plane. I'm traveling to the UK for the eToro summit. And then I'm going to Europe for two weeks. So you won't see me on YouTube for two weeks. Have a nice day and goodbye.